so before starting this connected matrix space let us con let us learn regarding the concept of subspace so let us r with the usual matrix consider the r with the usual matrix and consider the space a which is closed interval 0 1 with same matrix now if i consider this set closed interval 0 1 by 2 open and if you consider this set is an open sphere of a with center 0 and radius is 1 by 2 as you can see that if you are this is your set a which is closed interval 0 1 then if you try to draw a open sphere of the center 0 with radius 1 by 2 then that open sphere will be this because center is always inside the sphere and this side portion it will not be in this a because as per the definition of sphere of radius r at point a will be a set of all points x in this case it is in a such that distance between x and a is less than r but here r we have taken it is 1 by 2. and what does it mean of a distance between x and a is the usual matrix so that is mode of x minus a is less than 1 by 2 and the center is 0 so this is mode of x minus 0 is less than 1 by 2 so it is mode of x minus mode of x less than 1 by 2 that means your x is between minus 1 to 1 by 2 and all x which is in this which satisfy this condition that is the open interval sorry the closed zero open 1 by 2 interval is there and we know that this open sphere is always open in that set okay so this open sphere is always open in a but we know that this interval close zero open 1 by 2 will not be open in r so we can write here that note that close interval open 1 by 2 is not open subset of r but this closed interval 0 1 by 2 is open subset of a which is a subset of r ultimately what we can say is this is open set it is op open in a but it will not be open in So, what should be the relation between sets of A and open sets of R? So, for timing or to make a difference between the open sets of A and open sets of R, in general, if I talk about uh, set A, which is a matrix space, which is a subset of a matrix space X comma D, the open sets of A will denote it by G A. and open sets of x will denoted by gx to make a difference between open set when i say it is open set in a that means it is denoted as ga and open set in x will denoted by ga so these are the notation that we are follow for this next next theorem the question is what should be the relation between this ga 
and gx okay so that is the question that means what are the open sets of a how you can compare with the open sets of x so based on that we have a next result is this let x comma d be a matrix space and let a be a proper subset of x then prove that the subset ga of a is open subset of a comma da so ga is open subset of a if and only if there exists open subset gx in x comma d such that ga is equal to a intersection gx that means the open subsets of a is expressed as a intersection with some open subset of x comma sorry gx for example in this particular case here this is open subset close interval 0 1 by 2 it is open subsets of a so it is has to be some open subsets of r so you can having the intersection of this set a which is close interval 0 1 intersection with some open subsets of r so that open subsets of r you can take it as any open subset you can take which is the intersection of this close interval 0 1 and any other open subset so i can take minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 there are many you can pick up but the intersection of this and this one is this this you can have this is open subset of r so that is exactly this theorem is it says that there exists an open subset of gx which is in x here x is r in our case and a is the close interval 0 1 that we have okay so in that this is the theorem it says that so let us try to discuss the proof of this so first we'll prove this side that is if ga is open subset of a we assume and then there exists some open subsets we'll prove that statement so let ga be open in a if it is open then by definition of open set for every a in ga there exists an open sphere uh, of A and open spheres of A I just denoted by XA, A, R, A, where A is the center, R, A is the radius, which is a subset of G. This is as per the definition of open sphere we can have. So that it is defined now. This GX because the question is to find out gx there exists some open sphere gx so that is i'm taking or we will define as the union of all a's in ga so that s x of a r a now it is open sphere in x now here this gx is an is the union of 
open spheres and we know that the union of open sphere is always open so therefore this gx is open in x now let us see what is this gx intersection a so as per this this is a belongs to ga s x of a comma r a intersection with a so let's take this union inside or i can just interchange this intersection and the union so we can write down this is as a belongs to ga this is called the distributive property of the this union and intersection we can write down this is intersection of a but this is nothing but the the open sphere in a because it's having the intersection of this open open sphere with a so whatever the points remain in a that is open sphere in a and this is exactly g of a because that is the definition of g of a or as per the that it is the union of all points which are in g of a so therefore we can have this g x intersection a is equal to g of a so we have found the question was there exists some gx the gx is the union of all these open spheres which are in x so this complete the proof of one side now conversely this side let gx be an open in x and ga is equal to gx intersection with a this is our assumption we have to prove that or we shall show that this ga is open in a this is our objective so if a is belongs to ga then this will implies the a is also belongs to gx because of this statement because it say that x is belongs to ga and ga is equal to gx intersection with a so if it is something is here it has to be in both a and gx and gx is an open set so therefore we can say that exists some r greater than 0 such that s x a r which is subset of gx because gx is open so this will imply if i take the intersection with this set with a so therefore there exists r greater than 0 such that s x a r intersection with a is also gx intersection with a now what is this it is exactly the s so there exists r greater than 0 such that s a r is subset of gx but gx a is equal to ga so that means for every a belongs to ga there is an open sphere which is a contained in that set so that will gives you the exactly that the ga is open in a so that completes the proof of this theorem so this theorem is actually gives you the relation between the subspaces open subspaces or what are the relation between open subsets of the subspaces okay